Hey, it's Andrea, the South African girl living in Canada. And uh, welcome to Vincent Hayes again. It's so good to see you. Thanks, Andrea. It's awesome. wonderful to see you again. You are tanned and healthy. You've been in South Africa. I'm so jealous. How was it? Uh, it was wonderful. The only problem is I can't speak English anymore. <laughs> oh, I know how it is. Oh, you're going to have to struggle today then. Sorry. Let's try. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, you know, Vincent and I have done so many videos already on... Um, tax, immigration, the cost of living in mm. Canada, so many the financial aspects, especially in terms of immigration and moving to Canada, and also just how different it is here and how to get set up. But today, it's really exciting. Vincent has launched and developed a website called Wealthstack, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Vincent, tell us about how this baby got born. Well, Andrea, it's something that uh, we re I had really thought about about 15 years ago. And um, so just over the last few years, uh, you know, with the whole technology change mm. and people move more into technology and also COVID, uh, we thought this is the right time to launch it. So uh, we're super excited about it. Yeah, fantastic. It's amazing how um, so many people are online and so much more open to it. So let's talk about your vision with Wellstack. Sure. So part of the reason why we've created Wellstack was really to make financial planning more accessible for people. Mm. Now, especially for South Africans and other immigrants coming yeah. into Canada, yeah. but also for those who've been here a while. There are a couple of very similar questions that people ask okay. that you can actually answer pretty quickly hmm. if you have the right process and technology with it. Okay. So some of the things are, can I retire in, in Canada, for example? Can I afford a home? What about the kids' education? How much life cover do I need? Disability, critical illness insurance do I need? Oh, yeah. Wills and power of attorneys. So you need to have a different will here than uh, you know, South Africa, for mm -hmm. example. The second thing is that we also know from stats that 40% of Gen Xs, our age, mm -hmm. and 50% of millennials actually don't want to speak to a financial advisor right in the beginning, oh. whatever reason. So there's a big um, trend for DIY, do-it-yourself yes. kind of applications. And we've seen that with robo-advisors in the financial services, obviously outside of the financial services as well. Yeah. Um, people want to do their own thing. Other thing, Andrea, is that um, there's also been a big shift from employers over to the employees. So mm. employers don't offer that much support uh, for individuals when it comes to retirement, for example, and these kind of things. Yet they offer group benefits, but uh, the employees don't know how much they need for retirement and how much life cover they need, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Okay, so it's really about giving that dashboard uh, for individuals okay. so that they can see the goals on the one side, you know, how much do I need for retirement and for life cover and for all these kind of things. And then on the other side is to bring in all the accounts, bring in all the investment accounts and insurance products and employee benefit products into that thing, okay. really to show the individual how much do they need on the one side and how much they have. Okay. Uh, Brilliant. And to start tracking those goals over time. So that that's a really good start for us. If we can get people onto the same page, it's a one pager. Love uh, it. To be able to see it. Yeah, I think for me, the big thing is when we moved to Canada, um, there was a major learning curve yeah. in terms of educating myself in the financial sector. Had no idea. Completely different to South Africa. And for some of you, very different to the country that you're coming from when you come to Canada. I love the kind of dashboard thing of like at a glance I can see what I need to do where I'm lacking yeah. and where I'm at and the big thing is I know for us and for many people we came over in our 40s and the stuff that keeps you awake at night is will I have enough money to retire yeah. it's the biggest yeah. thing that turns in your stomach and so um, something well, like this is going to be fantastic well I think just on that you know mm. so a, a big big part of our vision is to is to move people from planning for retirement to planning for purpose. Ah, mm -hmm. you know, so we need to be able to talk more about finances within the family uh, and with our kids. That's awesome. And to say, what is my purpose in life, mm -hmm. and and what is the money that I need to support that? Uh, and and you can really only get to that to that discussion once you know what the goal is. Yeah. You know, if you don't know what the goal is, then you know, uh, what are you planning for? I went onto the Wealthstack app. Mm. You can do this whole thing anonymously. Mm. Why is that? Andrea, you know what I hated always when I go to a website that I like? And the second question that asks is my email address or phone number, or I go through the whole process and right in the end, they want my email address. Okay. And um, so we thought that it is ideal for people just to do it anonymously because really we want to add value to them so that they can see what they want to see. Kay. And if we start building trust with the client, then they can save it. But if people see value, 
is to save the dashboard. This is the first launch of a number of different series. You know, Course. this is like the minimum viable, viable product or the beta version. Yeah, you know, so version 01. Version 01. <laughs> so it creates a lot of value for people, mm -hmm. um, but we do want to have the opportunity to speak to those clients or communicate to them when we create those uh, enhancements and there's a ton of things coming. Oh, that's exciting. So don't forget to save uh, what you've put in on your dashboard so you can go back to it and see your information. What are the next steps? Andrea, very simple. Go to wildstack.ca, uh, click on the button to create a dashboard, create your anonymous dashboard. Mm -hmm. And then if you like what you see, save it. Uh, if you have questions, get in contact and we'll definitely help uh, whatever questions people have. This has really been great, super informative. I can't wait to get my dashboard sorted. I've sent it on to a couple of people already, even students, because it's important for our kids and everybody to get this thing going. I'm really excited about it, Vincent. Let's go, let's go and do it. Okay, awesome, we're off. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, and I'm sure we'll have some updates from Vincent in the future, not too distant future. Thank you so much.